if you've got a WordPress website and you want to add Excel style tables to your pages, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And I'm also going to cover one bonus tip that you shouldn't miss at the end. You want to go into plugins, add new plugin. In the search, do a search for table press. And it's this one by Tobias Bathergy. I hope I pronounced that right. Install now. And once it's installed, activate the plugin. I'm going to skip the notifications. And then hide this message. To create your first table, we can see up here we've got all tables, add new, press add new. And then give it a name. And you can fill in the description. And here you can set the number of rows and the number of columns. So set that as required. And once you set it to what you want, press add table. And then basically we can fill in our table as you would do any normal Excel spreadsheet. And if you realize you haven't allowed enough rows, we can easily add more rows or columns down here. So that'll add us another row. So if you do need more, that's where these are. And once you've filled in your table, remember to press save changes. So yeah, you can name the table whatever you want. You can give it an ID number. And if you need the short code to paste it in anywhere, this is where you find your short code. Copy that and then you can paste it in anywhere on your site where you need to use it. All we're going to do is adding it to the home page, whichever page you want to put it on. We just want to create a new section in Elementor and then we're looking for the short code widget. Drag the short code onto here. Paste in our short code so you can get that from table press. Copy this and then paste in the short code and you find your table should appear in there. And then just update your page and see table added. If you want to be able to style this and add colors to it, then you need to upgrade to the paid version of it, which is about $79 a year, I think. Uh, in the free version, you can't really do that unless you know CSS. So uh, yeah, get the paid version if you want to customize it a bit more. And our bonus tip, when you're on a table page, scroll right to the bottom and where we've got horizontal scrolling, make sure this is enabled because this will make it a lot better for viewers on a mobile device. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button and smash that subscribe. Well, if you didn't like it, hit that dislike twice and thanks for watching.